It's the day of the rollout of this aircraft, the LCA Navy trainer, and joining us is Commander Subrata Ghosh to tell us a little bit more about what makes this so special. What's different about this? Yeah, it's a very, very special moment uh, for not only Navy, for the country as a whole. Uh, reason being, is the first indigenous supersonic fighter aircraft. And, of course, it's an indigenous aircraft, fighter aircraft, fourth generation aircraft, which is again a unique uh, position. So what happens is, for the Navy, there are some special requirements for the operating on the aircraft carrier which has got a limited runway, so about 200 meters, very short. So it has to take off in that short okay. runway and as well as land. So there were special provisions made for the naval prototype to cater for that design changes. And today we have been able to achieve and it's standing in front of you. Very short runway for taking off and landing. When is this likely to be inducted into the Navy? Yes, so now what we are seeing is the aircraft is complete, all the components, everything is installed. Now it has to go for various checks, yes. so these checks will take on, the trials will take on, the flight will take on, and there are some, you know, at each stage there is a rigorous checks and balances yes. we have, yes. so approximately you can say two to three years three it will years. take. Okay, and how many does the baby actually require? What is the order likely to be given? Okay, uh, that I am not able to comment, that uh, headquarters will take a call yes. as, as soon as this aircraft is uh, proven. Navy is looking forward to its joining its fleet soon. Yes, definitely it is going to cater for our indigenous aircraft carrier which is also under build. Thank you so much Commander Ghoshda. Talking about the special features of this light combat aircraft, the special Navy version. Maya Sharma in Bangalore for NDTV.